hello, welcome to the channel. I'm going to teach you how to play the main piano theme from The Haunting of Hill House um, that reoccurs throughout the series. So it's not the main title. So this is called um, Go Tomorrow from the original soundtrack. And I've linked the track that I've based this on in the, de in the description below. So we're gonna do the right hand first. And here is middle C as a reference and you're gonna start with your thumb on E. So you're going to play E and then A, G, B, E, D, C sharp, C, B. Let's try that again. And the left hand with that section, you're going to play a low E, so two E's below middle C, and then come up to play G and B just below middle C. So that's an E minor chord, and then we're going to play a G major inversion, which is D, and then same two notes again. And then we have an E minor chord here, so we've got E, G and B, and then you're going to play the A and the C sharp, and then to E, G and B again. And that part fits together like this. So they start together. And then these come in together. And then E's coming together. And then the C sharp and the A and the C sharp coming together. And then we have B and E. So the next part, the right hand is going A, E, F sharp, G. And then does that again? A, E. F sharp, G. And then the left hand with that is going to go down to an A, so it's an A major chord, and then it's going to play E and A there. And then it's going to come up to the E minor again, and then to the A again. And then we have this run based on C major, so it's going a low C, so two C's below middle C. C, G, E, G, C, E, and then G, which you could play with your right hand. And then it's going F sharp. So that part fits together like this. And then we have, basically, most of that's going to repeat again, an octave higher. After you just played that F sharp, and you're going to play E, Bs, like that. So I'm going to move my camera slightly higher up, so you can see my fingers a bit more clear. So after you've played those E, Bs, and then it carries on in that octave from here, you just play it in the same way. So I ended it like that, just so it's not too long. So just ending it on the E minor, because that's the key signature of the piece. So that's the tutorial done. I hope that's been useful. 
Please give it a big thumbs up if it has and subscribe to Bite Size Piano for many more tutorials like this one. If you have any requests, please leave them in the comment section below and I look forward to talking with you all there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.